Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Whichever way applies to you, I do appreciate you for stopping through and watching my video haul though. And I'm thankful for everyone who subscribes to my channel and who have recently subscribed. Welcome to my channel family. If you want to, hit those red words down below that says subscribe. Also hit the bell icon. Hit the thumbs up and let me know you like this video. Let YouTube know you're feeling this video. And leave any comments or feedback down below. I do talk and respond back. So, what I'm going to do to you... What I'm going to do to you... <laughs> what I'm going to do for you today is a Bath and Body Works Summer Semi-Annual Haul. This is really going to be our mostly household products. Because I don't have many body items. Um... I already shopped, I have some, I hauled some, I ordered more. My last recent order, which was from this week, I already took back in the store, I didn't care for it. So yeah, that's a whole nother video that's coming up as well. So let's just get into the haul. It's a lot of hand soaps and, uh, well a few hand soaps and a few wallflowers. I'm going to show you the one extra body mist that I bought in the store that wasn't hauled in my previous video though. So let's get into it. Okay. So, the first fragrance I'm going to start off with is Island Papaya. Okay, that's the packaging. Very summer. These chairs. Liquid is light pink color. And the fragrance notes are tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugar cane. And this smells really, really, really good. I love it. This is so nice. It is a, a nice, fruity, and clean summer scent. It's really nice. Like, that papaya just gives it a whole nother smell. So, island papaya. Um, the next one we're going to do is, and we've never had any of these hand soaps except for this one here, which is the next one. And this is Island Margarita. I hope the light isn't blocking it. Another summer packaging showing the beach and beach houses. Okay. And um, this smells good. We had it before. I love it. It is so yum. So, uh, it's just yum. It's oh, refreshing. So, um, it's just good. It's just good. That's all I'm going to say. Like, it's fresh squeezed lime, Andrew pear, and sea salt. I smell the lime, I smell the pear, and it blended together. It's just so, it's so right. It's so right. So, Island Margarita is a good buy. Hand soap, I'm sure it smells good in the candle. If they had this in a um, fragrance mist, I would get it. Or a um, room spray. I'm not sure if they had this in room spray. It's bomb. Okay? So, the next one we'll get into is a favorite of mine. This is Champagne Toast, and I send New York packaging. And so, I just love this. I love this in anything they have. Child, I even got it in the car scent. It ain't got no car. I'm not lying. <laughs> car scent for the um, but <sighs> it's so good. It is super sweet and fruity um and bubbly it's a vibrant scent it's nice it's lovely to use in the winter or in the summer in my opinion so the fragrance notes is bubbling champagne bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine i definitely get the berries in here i get the champagne i guess it's a hint a tangerine but the berries is probably more overpowering than the tangerine but another good buy love this scent and the next one we'll get into is georgia peach okay and the packaging just looks like this it is showing um like some birthday candles or something going off fireworks sticks Okay. The notes read sweet peach, orange blossom, honeysuckle, and nectar. And I love 
Georgia Peach. I love Georgia Peach Sweet Tea uh, and the fragrances. I have that. Have for them. This is nice. It is um not too close to life, but it's very fruity and it's fresh and it's definitely a citrus scent. So that's Georgia Peach. It smells really nice. Okay. The next one is going to be Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. Okay. I'm showing the Ferris wheel in the background. Packaging is nice. And I just love the foaming hand soaps. You, you like literally get everything out the foaming hand soaps container with that nice white surround. Yeah, like the other soaps when they're, um, you know, the thick consistency ones. Like, you know, you can't get everything out. You got to add wool and all that. Like, ain't nobody finna do all that. You know, we ain't into that. So, uh, it is what it is. Um, the fragrance notes read marshmallow fluff, vanilla, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. Oh, this is, oh, it's, it's, it's a sweet scent. I definitely smell vanilla and I definitely smell caramel and I think I I think I smell the caramel more than anything for some reason so it be smelling I don't know why I think I smell like a hint of butter popcorn or something but um I'm trying to see if I get the marshmallow I get vanilla and I get caramel it's nice it's good um the sweet scent the gourmand so the last one is going to be beach cabana love the beautiful palm trees on the packaging okay so the notes for this is jasmine orange blossom and warm sands and this right here just smells like uh, why are we so damn close up on this guy okay <laughs> This smells like fresh sea ocean water and nice, crispy, clean, linen-scented um, clothes. Maybe with like a dash of lemon. Um, yeah, it smells like a nice ocean breeze, clean linen, downy softener, freshness. Okay, so this is good as well. So, um... All of those soaps, what is going on with this bag right now? Y'all gotta excuse me, like, does it smell like that? What does it smell like? I'm tired, like, something leaked out in the bag a little bit. And I just trying to make sure what that was and make sure everything is tight because um I did do this video already and I'm re-recording it because like child I just had to get myself together as far as my makeup. I felt like my eyelash wasn't right. So I was like, oh no, I'm going to redo um two of the videos that I put up today. So I'm gonna take the old ones down and put these ones up. And um, so we started using one of the soaps, and that was the island, island papaya. But of course, it's closed, so I don't know why it's just like a little sticky in the bottom of the back. But moving right along to the wallflowers, and um, the soap came up to like 14 and change just by itself because I used a 20% off coupon. There were 325 and 350, but really I paid 240 and 260 for majority of them. So, you know, you added up the ones that cost it two. Well, the ones that cost it two forty and two sixty. When you add all six items up, it gave me somewhere around fourteen eighty or something like that. I can't even check it because I had it on the calculator on my phone and I'm recording. So, anyway, moving right along to the wallflowers. Now, I bought the wallflowers the day they had the wallflowers on sale for two ninety five. I went in store and got them. I didn't have any extra coupon or anything. Um, for them, so I just bought all of them for $2.95. Now, the soaps was also bought with some other purchases and items, so with that receipt, everything came up to why is this stuff on here? 
Um, that's not even for that. Well, okay. Everything came up to um twenty five, like twenty four ninety nine. But like I said, that's with like three other body care products. So without the body care products, the soap itself was like fourteen and change, and that would be before tax. So um, with tax, it probably would have been like fifteen and change for just those soaps. So moving along to the wallflowers, and for the wallflowers, I paid. Oh, let me see. The wallflowers. Yeah, for the wallflowers, um, the subtotal was seventeen seventy, and the total total was nineteen twenty seven. So just under twenty dollars, and let's just get it started. So I have. Strawberry pound cake and the wallflower. And I can't really smell it outside of here. And I'm not even going to do all that and mess with the plastic or nothing. They sell, so I'm just going to leave them sell. But I'm going to trust that it smells good and it smells delicious. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. The next one is. The next one I'm going to show is going to be. one in a million it just looks like this but i have it in the fragrance mist and one in a million is a really nice beautiful smell it is floral but it's a nice lovely lively floral and so the notes read jasmine white gardena and cashmere musk okay and that's one in a million wallflower the next one it's going to be the Flamingo Beach. I don't know if anybody has smelled this. I don't know if they make this in soap or candles. This is really new to me, this period, Flamingo Beach. So the notes read, pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white petals. And I'm hoping that that's good. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. So I ain't tripping. Then I have Cactus Blossom. And the notes read, cactus flower petal, sun-kissed coconut, fresh sparkling lemon. And then we have pineapple mango. And I'm thinking this is going to smell good. You know, it's two sweet fruits, definitely a summer scent. So the notes read, fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberries. Now, the last one I can tell you about, because this is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. It is the Black Cherry Merlot. Oh, my God. This just smells so good. I got it in the pocket bag. I got it in the air freshener. I do have it in the fragrance now, because it's funny. I had did a video, and I was like, if they ever come out with this in the fragrance mist, I'm going to get it. And lo and behold, it probably wasn't even a month later they came out with the fragrance mist. No, I was on it. Okay, so... Black Cherry Marlowe is Dark Cherry, Black Raspberry, and Sumptuous Marlowe. And this smells so good. And I don't know why in my tag is so messed up. Got all this little pink sticky stuff all on it, inside of it. But whatever. I picked um, most of these out of this big basket that was just sitting there with various um, wallflowers in it. Because um, what I was really looking for was Hot Fudge Sunday. And they ain't have it. Man, I'm, I'm definitely getting that in a candle. Well, last but not least, I have one fragrance mist to show you, and that is this Fresh Coconut Colada. This smells so good. It's a nice coconut. It's, oh my God, it's fresh, it's sweet, it smells just like if somebody brought you a coconut cocktail or pina colada to the table, a sweet pina colada. This is so good. I'm glad I picked this one up. And so, this is the last body care item I got due to the fact I made an online order of six items and took everything back, okay? Because it was all one line. It was four mists and some other stuff. That video will be posted soon. So, fresh coconut colada. So, that is the end of my haul for everything else that was purchased in store, definitely, from the Simi and yourself from Bath and Body Works. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you for watching. I hope you liked it, enjoyed. We will come back. 
Hope you find it in your heart to want to join the channel family because you are welcome. And um, real quick, I had got one thumbs down and I, I'm really like tripping over because I don't even understand why somebody would give me a thumbs down. But you know what? Could just be pure hateration. Could be a real life hate of mine in real life because everybody uses YouTube. So it is what it is and it's all good. And it was on my um, Victoria's Secret Sweet Fix um video i had showed that collection being in stores and being new i actually did subtitle it wrong on my youtube channel i called this sweet kiss instead of sweet face but i don't feel like that would be any reason to give the video a thumbs down because i showed everything i read the notes to them you know i did better with that video than i did with like my first in-store haul video just showing some new misses that had came out but it is what it is. Thank you, everybody who watch, who support, who show love. I appreciate it. Peace. Till next time. And I got more coming for you.